welcome to Hobby Clubhouse, bringing you along for a visit to the Bandai Spirits Hobby Exhibition at City Plaza Hong Kong. The event runs from 1st of October to the 21st of October, and it features a Gundam-based Tokyo pop-up store with exclusive items for sale. Sort of, because most of it were already picked clean by the crazy people. But there's still a lot to see, so let's have a look. The first thing to look at is this timeline that starts from the first 1144RX78 model, making its way to each big iteration of the RX78, like the first MG Gundam. Notably, it skips over the classic HG from the 1990s, so it seems to be only featuring models that are still in production. Not far past the timeline, we get one of the main draws of the expo, the 3 meter tall full body statue of the RX-78. The statue is styled after the RG Gundam or the MG 3.0, whichever one you prefer, with all the grey highlights and armor panels and all the relevant markings. It's placed under a giant skylight, and a natural light helps give it a realistic look. You can spend quite a long time here just looking at all the details they've painstakingly reproduced. If you own the RG or the MG 3.0, you're going to enjoy circling the statue and studying all the little details that you're going to recognize from your own model at home. But of course you saw the thumbnail and you knew this wasn't all there was. Also at the expo is this gigantic half-sized bust of the RX-78. The shoulders feature working lights, but one of the lights on each of the shoulders seemed to have burned out on the day I visited. The giant bus is a great draw and lots of people are coming here just to get a picture with it. And it makes sense, because the models we buy we can own at home and we can look at it whenever we like. Something big like this, we can only see at an event. Now I know it's not as impressive as the full-size Gundam in Japan or the upcoming G-Doc one, but I mean we can't all go to Japan. And here it's better than nothing, and I mean it's indoors, it's inside a shopping mall, that's pretty impressive. Another interesting display is a mock-up of a modeler's workspace. I'm not sure if this is anything like what you might have at home, but strategically it's quite free of clutter, so to the eyes it looks quite nice. On the desk are design documents for the old 1144 Gundam from 1980, so they aren't exactly what a modeler might have on his or her's desk. The model in the basket on the right, I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't seem to be an RX-78. So overall, the room is a nice little display from afar, but when you look close into it, the story it tells doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Now here's one of the many glass cases, this one here showing colored polystyrene pellets used in the manufacturing of Gundam models. And then to their right are the copies of the same technical drawings for the old 1144 Gundam from the 1980s. Interestingly, the drawing for the beam rifle here is called a machine gun. To the right of this display is a diorama of the Bandai Hobby Center factory floor with Bandai's injection molding machines lined up in two neat rows. Some of them are in plain gray colors, and some of them have the Zaku coloring, and one of them being the Char Zaku, so I assume they reflect that's how it is in the actual factory. Above the display is an information board, listing the steps it takes in developing a new model kit like 3D printing prototypes. Now here's what comes out of the factories, with a selection of kits old and new. The bottom row starts with old 1144 kits, uh, represented by the Goof, Char Zaku, the RX-78, and the Gun Cannon. On the other end of the row are their HGUC counterparts, and these are the first releases and not the later HGUC revisions. On the top row, we have three classic 1100 kits here with the newer HGUC revisions at the front. It's amazing to think that these are all still in production and you can still buy them all in retail, even though the older kits are technically only sometimes reprinted. Nearby is a display specifically for the RX-78. The three models here on the blocks are the Origins kit, the Industrial Design kit, and then the Beyond Global at the very very top. And taking center stage is the entry grade, proving that it can indeed stand toe to toe with some of the greatest HG kits. But now here's an RX-78 that's a world apart from the others. This is the Gundarium Alloy model RX-78. The USP Bandai is offering this at a heart-stopping $2,250. It's the kind of stuff that'll end marriages and destroy homes, so I'll just look at it here through the glass. Now let's take a break for a moment from looking at model kits and let's look at this information board. And you know, lame you might say, but just stick with me here. This board outlines how the amazing box illustrations are made. And surprisingly, they start with photos of the actual kits which they use to trace out the artwork. We have the Penelope representing the HG line, the Providence for the MG, 
and then the Ryubi Unicorn for the new San Gokuden line, which sadly has ended likely because of the line being produced in China and the world problems have likely gotten in the way. The board is rounded off with some additional information that you usually get in the instructions manual, like other mechanical drawings, uh, some San Gakuden comics, and then a coloring guide. Alright, we're back to the models. Here's a P-band I display. The F90's options part have already been released in Japan as of this video, but outside the country, everything in this case is all pre-release, and here's a close-up look at some of them. As mentioned before, the Gundam-based Tokyo pop-up store has some exclusive kits brought over from Japan. The most special of them all has to be this 4-piece 1144RX78 box set, starting with the 1980s Gundam kit, and then the original HGUC kit in a glossy paint, and then the Beyond Global in all clear parts, and then the RG kit in half clear and half glossy painted parts. Unsurprisingly, this box set was sold out, much like everything else. But anyway, here's a look at all the other kits that you can no longer buy, with the exception of the Clear Legends BB Victory Dai Shogun. With these ones here, they weren't on sale yet on the day of my visit, so people could still buy these. There were also some displays of some non-Gundam kits, so here's a brief look at all of them. To end our tour, there's a stamp collecting activity you can do at the expo using this card that doubles as a flyer for the entry grade RX78. You press it on one of these presses that embosses one of the four logos. So I trekked to all four locations to get the souvenir to show you and uh, god dang it they've been cleaned out. So that's the hobby expo at the city plaza here in Hong Kong. It's a small little thing, but I hope you've had a nice time visiting it even from afar. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to be notified of new videos from Hobby Clubhouse. And come hang out with us on social media for news on upcoming videos, and I'll see you next time.